great honor to present myself amongst you. So thank you, MX Media, Avnit sir, and all the organizers and the sponsors. Today I am going to talk about uh, refractory industry at Vizag. So. <coughs> Uh, this client is from a German based client, so they are Refratechnik from Germany. This is a basic master plan what we have done for them. It is a 20 acres land in Parvada Vishakapatnam. So, Here the entry is from a northeast, so it will be uh, from entrance plaza. It invites you inside. This is a administrative building and a parking and other ancillary buildings. So this is the raw material storage and a mill house. Where this is placed at a southwest corner, of course, was to angle also there. So every project we give them the information with vastu consideration so if the client consciously avoids that's fine otherwise we tell all the uh, industrialists about the vastu and their nature that we believe that is also a science so here this is a mill house this is the tallest structure this is a production block from uh, uh, west to east the total length of the building, this production block itself, it's a 200 meters. So this is 50 uh, meters by 200 meters. This mill house is also 50 meters. So this is uh, raw material storage is 50 meters by 45 meters. And uh, this is a castable plant. The northwest part we have given for the parking, truck parking. To start with, uh, generally we do 3D views to give them a, a picture how it is going to look like. Otherwise, uh, people may not appreciate what they are doing. So we need to; they need to understand what exactly is going to come for the their factory. So now you can understand from the basic idea. This is the raw material storage. This is a mill house. This is a 30 meters height. And this is the production block, 50 meters at this location, and it's a 34 meters at this location. This is also 50 meters, and other ancillary buildings. This is the powerhouse. This is a lot of space has been left for the parking as well. Uh, this mill house is a very important. This is a heart of the total uh, industry, wherein raw material will be stored here. And the raw material will be taken inside the mill house. That will be with a screw conveyors and all, they will be taking a, onto the top. I will show you in the next slides how it is going to look like. These are the building main sizes of the buildings. This is a mill house. Mill house is all 45 meters by 50 meters, and the height is 30 meters. So there are various locations, we have all the plants like you know 2.9 meters, 6.9 meters, 9.35 meters floor plants. There is a plan at uh, frame plan at 14.5 as well as 15 meters and plan at 19.5 meters. 27 meters. This is the basic cross section of the building. So you can see a lot of bins are coming. So we have to support a huge uh, bins with all the material with the jumbo bags of one uh, ton. Uh, Mr. Amisha must be knowing about this <laughs> industry requirements and all. Jumbo bags, generally these jumbo bags will be transporting to the top and all the different material will be taken into the bins and thereby it gets transported onto the uh, 
uh, it will be blenders and mixers will be there at the bottom. So required consistency, they will mix it and taken it to the uh, taken out. Those things will be used for the production. You can see this jumbo bag, how they plan to do it, is a monorails have been provided. So exactly on the above the bins only, we are, they are going to place it and they are going to take out the material from there. So this, and this is a general cross section taken from the inside of the production block. You can see there are huge bins are available all at in a row and from here the jumbo bags they are going to open it and different kinds of material which are transported from the raw material they are going to place it on this and all the material will be transported and mixers blenders all those things will be there and the final material it is going to come here this material they are going to use it for the production so this material is and nothing but a, they are going to manufacture refractory bricks, different kinds of refractory bricks which are going to be used in a steel industry and a ferroalloys industry because all these industries require a, some kind of a material which will not get diluted when uh, even metal to metal also it for a high temperatures of 1200 uh, degrees centigrade. So molten uh, metal, it is going to spoil the metal also. So that requires a speciality bricks. Those speciality bricks are manufactured here. So this is a in thing in a, for every steel industry we require this. So a lot of refractory industries are coming up in Vishakapatnam especially. So we are doing a lot of refractory industries in the sense IFGL refractories. Uh, RHA refractories we have done and uh, uh, VSVS we are doing, VSVS is the number one company from UK, uh, RHA is from an Austrian company that is also number one from that area. So these are all, all uh, and also we are likely to get the ca categories uh, also. So from the external phase you can see that is the mill house. This mill house has been designed with the Zindal UV sections. Why Zindal UV sections, you must be asking. So Zindal UV sections, we need not worry about the connections, the welding connections for a particular, because this requires a lot of machinery, which are going to be vibratory in nature. So when the vibration is there, then uh, it can dislodge the the plate to the plate where the eye sections what we design in a PEB connections wherein this is a going to be a hot roll sections so generally for all these kind of a machinery loading we generally use only a ready-made sections which are from a Zindal or a sail so all these ready-made sections has a, a nice curved portion which there is no chance of any dislodging of the material from one plate to the other plate that is the advantage and it performs very well in the kind of a, a wind also, cyclone winds. Cyclone winds also, this is a, uh, we have done one factory at Falcon that is in uh, Orissa, just beside the Chilika uh, lake. So there is a huge uh, uh, cyclone has come. There also it performed well, all the buildings, I mean Vishakhapatnam also it is a cyclone affected area. Uh, sometime back Hood Hood also came. You all know that is a 240 kmph, but no structure got damaged in RHI. RHI we have done. So, and other steel structures also, high rise steel structures we have done, but nowhere it damaged any kind of a problem. Like, you know, it's only a, a small, like, you know, uh, sheeting only got flown away, but nothing to the structure. So, we have to see that kind of a uh, design requirement whenever we are designing in a cyclone zone area. That's a wind is the governing case for any kind of a steel structure. So you can see this picture tells you how complicated when we are designing the, so 
all the floors are connected by this kind of a all the machinery beams all pipes everything so we need to understand that machinery requirements and the holes where exactly it is coming and we should avoid all the conflicts we should be able to visualize each and everything otherwise there is going to be a mess though uh, and uh, this project they have finished in 17 months which normally in germany they take not less than 24 months they only agreed this uh, that is the kind of a detailing and a precision we need to do otherwise it is going to be a mess all through so this is the production block from one end if you see that's a 200 meters length so wherein you can see the length of this structure how beautiful it is and this is from the production block from the other side which is the photograph has been taken under the mill, se mill section side and this side if you see all the presses all these presses are heavy vibrating machinery for all the vibrating machinery we need to do machine foundations taking into consideration frequency amplitude all those so we have to analyze the structure for the natural frequency of the machinery we should know so we have to analyze the basic uh, natural frequency of the uh, foundation so it should be like you know there should not be any resonance after installation otherwise that is going to be in a shatters so what we have designed is the, with a 600 mm dia piles of 12 meters length with a group of piles we have done a raft for all this for this presses in this press they are going to bring all the material here and they have to they are going to do the pressing that press it is a after the pressing they are going to taken into the kiln so those things will be utilized for the they, they are going to transfer to the uh, wherever i mean steel industry requires this is the external elevation so production block so we had to do a lot of i mean we had a lot of interaction with the client engineers everything uh, so where exactly what is ne needed everything so so all the base plates and all everything we have designed so these are all you know cyclone wind zone so we need to be very careful about the even every base plate bolts so there the requirement was uh, some uh, some areas they require uh, uh, cranes also we have designed for that and uh, some of the areas they wanted a mezzanine spaces wherein they have used for the their in-house office spaces in, in the factory itself for the plant uh, in charge and all they are going to sit over there this is the basic and this entire thing has been designed in a PEB that's a plate construction uh, the contractor the main contractor is uh, Ratna constructions uh, PEB has been done by Kartikeya industries these are the details what we have developed the, the elevation also what we have done you must have seen the in the elevation we have taken this is the exact profile of the your shed and what we have done in the elevation we have done like this so wherein it it gives an a nice elevation with all the requirement like you know we have made a, a small kind of a truss kind of a thing so that it gives a nice elevation feature overall this is a raw material shed this is a castable plant all along we have been talking about the steel 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 but we should also engage in a how we have come out from the ground there is a you know almost if you look at this ground that was available for them from the finished ground level what we have assumed from there the land is like this that means there is a level difference of almost 9 meters 
and that is a lake kind of a thing. If you look at this, this is a kind of a lake. From the required level to the lake bottom, if you see, there is a, the maximum depth was 9 meters. And we got the soil investigation done. So, wherein they have reported from the 9 meters, 3 meters down below, they have reported 8 ton per square meter. That kind of a 8 ton per square meter, if you do the design as well as the execution from there, that means the height of the structure is 9 plus 3, 12 meters to reach only the ground level. How do we solve that? That is the, I mean, uh, all steel experts are there. I just wanted to discuss a small about the concrete and the foundation also. So we have to, I mean, we started thinking a different kind of an approach. Wherein, what we have done, we have filled entire area just from the finished ground level to, I mean, uh, that bottom of the floor, if you look at this, this area we have filled 3 meters from the finished ground level, what we assumed, and rolled it properly. After rolling, wherever the foundations are coming, we have taken this wooden bullies of 3 meters at every 450 mm center to center. And we have just, it's only simple technique. Of course, this has been uh, treated properly before inserting it inside. We have pressed this and we have done all the wooden bullies. This is the kind of a wooden bullies what we have done. And we have filled with a PCC, of course. And one more activity we have done. And the client has to get the exactly feel of it, how it is going to act like, you know. So, what we have done, we have done randomly a plate load test also. Plate load test has given us a confidence even for them also, for the client also, for us also. They have reported from 24 to 28 ton per square meter, which gives a, a reasonably good, uh, I mean, uh, platform for the foundations. So, why 3 meters means, we, it's a wind is the governing case. What we require, we have to anchor it down. So, 3 meters is the minimum anchorage what I require to put it on the soil load has to be kept on the foundation. That is the reason I have kept everywhere the 3 meters is the base. 3 meters we have kept and plate load test given us a confidence 24 to 28 ton per square meter. In spite of that what we have taken, it is a 15 ton per square meter we have taken and we have designed entire structure. Except that press foundations everywhere we have used the same technology. So that is the reason we could able to save because a client money is our money. What we need to think is a client money is also our money. So be before giving, giving them any kind of a solution, we have to think of the safety first and the economy also. If we don't get the safety asp uh, aspect, that's a dangerous thing. And if you are not following the economics, that is also dangerous because it's an entire structure. I mean, they could able to save 5 crores of rupees, can you believe that? The cost towards the, this thing, construction, the time, and they saved a lot. This is the takeaway from the steel structure, of course, but more than a steel structure, whenever there is a, this kind of a problem is there, we should also think differently and we have to give them a proper solution so that people can come to us. Why people come to a consultant? The, we, we should be in a position to give them a, a proper solution with a economics and a safety in, in the mind. So all the foundation, if you look at this, all are at one level. Just imagine this kind of a situation will never come in normal case. All are 3 meters depth everywhere. So what they could do initially, all the foundations at one level, all the pedestals are one level, easily they could able to I mean, do the reinforcement, binding, everything, kept it ready. In one go, they have finished. Such means, in two months' time, they have finished all the foundations. So that is the uh, kind of a time achieved in this case. Though the soil was very bad, but we could able to save time with this uh, activity. So thank you very much.